What's going on dudes, it is Cola Salas here, welcome back to the second episode of Batman the Telltale series. We're just gonna stri j jump straight back in, I'm not gonna bore you with what happened, you can go and watch that yourself. It wasn't that um, long episode to watch, so go and do it now, let's go. It's me. Look at that purple man. That's the color we chose. Episode one. Realm of Shadows. She was really after him. Yeah. Oh, we can. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like uh, Walking Dead. You can actually walk around, see what's up. Holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outbid themselves with this version. Yeah. Those are the tickets I think his mom and dad bought and were going to a theater and then they were killed in the robbery or something. Must have been. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent calls upon the mayor's, uh, the mayor's office to take a public stand against the wave of vigilante actions sweeping the streets. Mayor Hill cannot expect the DA's office to prosecute cases on a criteria other than the law, said Dent to a City Hall press conference. Dent has taken a firm stand against vigilante, vigil, vigilantism in Gotham, from uptick in citizen lead shooting to the costume superhero Batman. Dent is currently enjoying the surge of popularity with one of the lowest criminal backlog in the, in the state. His ground-breaking victims assistance program was part of the platform that drove his most recent successful bid for a re-election since becoming Gotham's youngest district attorney at age 26. Cool. Oh, it's my codex. Thomas and Martha Wayne. My parents. Dad was a physician, mom was a philanthropist. They worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expanding their vast resources to improve the city and citizens. Murdered in an attempt to robbery by a Norman Joe Chill, deceased. Wayne Family Butler. Alfred Penworth. Faithful, uh, patient, and ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of family my whole life. He raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. Here, he's my butler, my confident and most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains frequently about my nightly activities, but he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Harvey... no. Harvey Dent. Gotham City District Attorney, mayoral candidate. The new friend and the best uh, district attorney Gotham City has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's, he's hoping to become a mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save the city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's, he's, he's too easily swayed by um, anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. Murky! Hamilton Hill. 
Cop Burglar. Ricky Vale. Alright, whatever. I need a hero. Data port. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So that's the stolen drive. Anything else up in here? Yeah, there's some. Ga oh, gadget stable, yeah, man. Look at it. So we got grapple gun, smoke pallets. Well, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. Yeah, man. Spare grapple gun. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Yeah, she took mine. That bitch. Uh, EMP sticky taser. That what I throw at her. Knock out electricity in the area. I suppose that cat woman would have preferred the latter. Uh, trace detection scammer. Next edition. Can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Damn. Batrangs. Should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper. Yeah, man. Those are so old school. I, I remember them from the front. Like, they've been around forever. Before all the gadgets were um, were introduced to the game. Uh, the comics, not the game. About mobile. About mobile, sorry. Look at that, baby. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay, cool. Most annoying thing about these games is you cannot turn the camera. There's no way to turn the camera around. There's there's, there's no like third person view. It's just a kind of like a f cinematic camera. Now you can see I'm moonwalking. That's embarrassing for a game like that. Honestly, Telltale, you should you should be thinking of something better than, than invisible walls. But soon, and then we can get to that. Absorb most of the damage from that gunshot. I've got to protect my back, even from the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so I'm going to main screen. Ah, fuck it. Let's just grab that um, the hard drive. Nearly fell off a building for this? Let's see what she was up to. God damn, man. That's some ne next level gaming chair right there. Alright, let's put up the uh, Heroes of the Storm. Let's go. Encrypted. There's a sine wave right next to it. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. <laughs> Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal well, in the process what are we looking at let me try a different angle this is a map of the east side shoreline but it could mean any number of things Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. 
I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. I'm afraid not. not. much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins... Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Uh, whenever Harvey calls. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Don't <laughs> uh, <old men> <laughs> worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. We'll be Alfred the Batman. Don't worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. It might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... It's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. His park? The one that got away. Which means a cat woman woman woman. Oh shit, look at it. That's hot. That's a hot look. Like I, I usually try to wear like that, you know. A shirt. Some nice je not jeans but some nice pants. Look at that. No man. That was Where are you, Oz? Graffiti. Holy shit, what is going on here? Gotham looks nice. You, but no eyes. I 
Hey. Beat it. Okay, man. And I'm looking for any trouble. to be. Yeah, man. Watch wallet cash. This goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one. Come in here. Next one kills you. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. ruining the moment! Come here! Think that'll do! Stay down. Oh god, he got him good! This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Oh my god! He got him good. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Yeah, good as new. Woo! That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, <sighs> This city. Choose right. Seems like they're both orphans. Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. <laughs> Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh. Wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him in pavement. Sorry, mate. 
This reunion got a lot more grim than our plan. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. What? Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. God damn. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. And that's it. That's all he wanted from me. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. But today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Yeah, Wayne, yeah. Any words he'd like to say. Bruce? I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham. To stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Was that Vicky? Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we change Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, 
put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. <laughs> Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I said about that. Um... And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? <laughs> I think you should check your source. Sounds to me like an intern is finally putting their creative writing minor to good use. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Who's calling me? Who was texting me? Civilized. It still was Alfred, but... Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. What? What do they want from me? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? That's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. No, oh, yeah, of course. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. Yep. He's mayor. I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I've got nothing to hide. No bad business at all. Are you fucking serious? Did you just break my photo?
Bruce? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. We shall see about that. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette <laughs> received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Yeah. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. <laughs> it won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record, right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. Hmm. I wonder what was the uh, right choice. Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. All right, looks like we're going to be paying a visit to Harvey. Spectre, uh, Dent. <laughs> right, and we're gonna finish it here. I'm gonna try to keep these episodes about half an hour. Honestly, there, is, there isn't too much room for my commentary. I just try to squeeze in my comments from here and uh, here and there. But mostly it's just story driven. So I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of, um, this kind of format of, of a playthrough. And I'll see you guys in the next one.